Hey guys, Corey here with Carcano Gaming, and uh, today I got a different kind of video for you. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial video for PlayStation 4 controller support. And the the issue that I see with uh, the DualShock support is on non-Steam titles a lot of the time. Like Alan Wake 2 is on Epic. And it, it, you can't get you can't get the touchpad to work without you know like a lot of the problems you're having to use a lot of the time you got to use DS4 or Windows to even get the uh, non-Steam games to detect it. And this is a solution around having to use DS4 or Windows at all, and the touchpad will work, and that's the most important thing. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Steam open uh, check your controller settings uh, Steam settings controller control make sure your controller detected is PlayStation controller you want this to be set to enable in games without support and it's important to note that certain titles especially on Steam you, when you load back and play those games, you'll have to change this setting to not enabled in order for it to detect. But that's such a minor thing to do here in the controller settings that it's worth not having to use DS4 Windows. So when you when you enable this without support, go ahead and close that and then go to games. Add a non-Steam game. Okay, and when this list pops up, in the E's, go down and select Epic Games. I, it's not on my list because I've already done it. But select Ep Epic Games, hit Add, and it'll bring it over here. Uh, this should work for other launchers also, not just Epic Games. But... Uh, I've, I've tested it with Epic, know it works, played multiple games with it. So, once you add the Epic or whichever launcher you're going to do this with, then launch it straight from Steam. So, once you launch that with Steam, then launch the game you're wanting to play from the, the, the new launcher. In this case, Epic. All right, you can see there's the press X to continue, which is a PlayStation button. Let me go ahead. I'll go straight into the game here. And show you the touchpad works. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was Sorry. Chasing a I had to wait for that to load to skip that cutscene. A side note if you enjoy psychological thrillers, Alan Wake 2 is, uh, a great psychological horror game. The page from what says I've seen so far. Something called an so anyway, uh, here's what I want to point out. Exactly what touchpad. See how, it's, see how uh, it says touchpad to exit? I hit the touchpad to get in. Hit the touchpad, exit. Hold the touchpad. Opens the map. Works fine. You can, you can hit circle to exit or you can just hit the the, the touchpad but it works great all right so there's that and once you you know like i said once you uh go back and play some other titles like if i go back and play uh wrc from that's that on steam itself I'll have to change that setting, this setting, back to 
uh, not enabled because it, it it won't detect for whatever reason with this setting. I'll have to switch it back to not enabled, I guess, because WRC has native controller support anyway. So it causes issues with that setting. But either way, I'll take having to adjust that setting, that one setting, and, and launching games this way through Steam over using DS4 or Windows any day of the week because I can never get the touchpad to work. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment if this helped you. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.